let's cover point one. I have a loss. And you know, there were people that had losses. January, uh, my rain gauge registered just shy of three inches in January. Yes. Now I know y'all had some water damage phone calls in January. What's the first thing a homeowner should do while they're watching Jeopardy in their lazy boy chair and a drip hits their forehead. Yeah, so <laughs> it's so funny you say that because I was just talking to somebody recently that uh, actually is an insurance agent. Uh, we had a little lunch and learn at their office yesterday, and he said his own house, he walks into his garage, and his water softener had burst and caused a leak. And uh, he said he walks in, his feet are wet, he's stepping in water, it's spraying him in the face, He's an insurance agent that's been in the business for a long time, and immediately the panic sets in, right? <laughs> and uh, and he's thinking to himself, "What do I do? What do I do?" And uh, and so uh, he did the right thing, and he reached out to his plumber uh, to uh, to get the get the water. He tried to turn off the water, and of course that didn't work. So he was wise enough to know because he says he's about as handy as the desk that we were sitting in front of. <laughs> and so then he goes out to the street. And I said, well, at least you knew that. And he said, yeah, but I couldn't turn that off either. And yeah. he said, uh, I couldn't get it off. So he said, I called the plumber to get them out. But most people think the first thing that they need to do and the only thing that they need to do is to call their insurance company. I can't tell you how many people I try to convince that they need to take action in order to mitigate their damages. And of course, coming from me, I think they think it's self-serving. <laughs> and so they don't, they don't uh, want to comply. And I tell them, it's not only what you should do, it's your obligation to do it. It's written in your insurance policy that you've got to mitigate the damage and you've got to take action. And so I've literally had people waiting for a callback from their insurance company and do nothing while the house sits in water, mold potentially can grow, and the building materials are getting further damage because they're afraid to do anything. And that is probably more common than anybody realizes. It's their first instinct, I need to wait for my insurance company, I don't wanna do the wrong thing.